I have a confession to make. In the last video, I talked about using a monopod and wouldn't it be cool, you know, the advantage of it. But I really never talked about the competition to a monopod. Like what we've been doing all along, which is, of course, the tripod. When I designed the first trifecta handgun rest around 2010, 2011, somewhere in there, I designed it around using a tripod. And I've been promoting it that way, and I've been using it myself that way on my hunting trips this whole time up until about a year ago I started thinking about is there a faster way to get on target? And that's when I really started trying to uh, practice and, and uh, incorporate a monopod into my game. Now, the tripod is not dead by any means. I want to give you a couple reasons why you still may want to use one. A, it's always at the ready. It's right there. It's very steady. I can sit here and beat on this thing. Put my gun up there. It's also a very stable platform because you have the three legs. You don't have to try to manipulate or create any more stability. The, the tri tripod itself provides all that to you. So if you put your gun up there properly, you're going to be very, very stable and you can get on target quickly. Make a nice clean shot with your handgun. Now today I'm in my studio, so I have a very flat floor. If I want to change my position, say I, this is my primary where I expect a game animal to come from, but something shows up over here at 9 o'clock, all I have to do, I can keep my gun on the rest, and I can move it over to my new location. Now an instance where I can think that would work in the field as if you're hunting out of a elevated box blind where the floor is nice and flat and maybe you have a window out here at 12 o'clock in front of you and maybe a couple more over here at three o'clock and nine o'clock and perhaps even behind you depending on uh, the style of blind that you have. That would work really well with the tripod and, and I would not do anything else in that situation. Now in the last nine years, I've also hunted in locations where I expect the game animal to come perpendicular to my shooting location. So you guys are where I expect game animals to show up, but they're going to come perpendicular and they're going to come into my field of view. So I don't have to move too much. I just have to move up and down and maybe a little bit left and right. Now those are some instances where I would want to use a tripod, but let's talk about the disadvantage. We'll go outside. Okay, so I spent some time getting my tripod legs perfectly even here for you guys to see. If I want to change my position, so I'm shooting at, uh, it'd be three o'clock if you're at 12 o'clock. If I want to come over to you guys like that, now, as you can see, my tripod is no longer even, so I'm going to have to do something to level it back out. That takes time, and it's precious time we don't always have, and that's where that monopod may come into play. So up to this point, we've been talking about sitting in a chair using a monopod. And the chair over my left shoulder is my favorite chair to sit in. It was pretty expensive. It's called a Chama chair, but it's very comfortable. I can sit in that chair a long time. It does not make any noise when it swivels. So if you're looking for a good chair, that's a, a great chair. But I'm not here to talk about chairs. I'm here to talk about sitting on the ground because a chair is a commitment and it's a commitment that we don't always want to make when we want to kind of go on a run and gun or do the hunting public thing or maybe even a, a west coast hunt where or not coast but a western hunt where you're going to be moving around a lot you really can't take a chair with you you just want to hunt right off the ground so my first rule for sitting on the ground and hunting is i always want elevation to be 
to my advantage. So I want to be looking downhill. I want my feet or my legs to be downhill because it's just more, much more comfortable that way. If I were sitting on flat ground, my, my legs would be all up in here and then my back would get sore very quickly. But I want to be sitting uh, up high and the other reason for that is obviously you have the uh, advantage on the game animals. It's kind of like sitting in a tree stand, right? So you're you're looking down at them and they don't see you quite as easily. So how do you want to set up your monopod? So I did have to extend the legs out just a little bit for this position. And what I like to do is I want to set it up to where I'm kind of in the middle of my range. So let's just say I can shoot this gun. My max range is 150 yards. Now it may or may not be that distance, but let's just say that it is. So I want to set it up at about 100 yards. And that way it gives me this leeway to adjust from the 150 to the 50 yards without really straining my body too much. So I want to adjust the height and I also want to adjust the angle of my rest itself. Now what I can do is I can use my knee when I'm in my primary position just like I showed you when we were sitting in the chair as just another touch point. Now what's cool about this is if I'm sitting, uh, let's say uh, on a, uh, a western ridge and I'm looking down at a basin, if something comes to my left, let's say, I can just move the whole monopod over, get right back into position, and make the shot very easy. Same thing to my right, is I can just twist my body and that's much easier than using a tripod. In the next video, we're going to talk about standing up and using a monopod. And that's one you don't want to miss. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Please hit me with a like, a comment below. Don't forget to ring that bell. I will see you on the next one.